ngayon, yung mortal mo dati, BFF mo ngayon. Such is life. And the most unheard of, most improbable scenarios have happened. Like the closure of ABS-CBN and now the merging of ABS-CBN and GMA. Yes. Um, <clears throat> uh, first of all, I always mean I don't believe in burning bridges, diba? Parang, and true enough now, the lines have no more delineations, diba? Ngayon, yung mortal mo dati, BFF mo ngayon. Such is life. And the most unheard of, most improbable scenarios have happened. Like the closure of ABS-CBN and now the merging of ABS-CBN and GMA. Or that shows in ABS are also simultaneously seen in TV5. Mm -hmm. So, ganun na ngayon. So, that is also the personality I want to adapt to. So, that's why uh, when I was going to sign, medyo mahabang kwento, pero interesting kasi, when I was the Facebook ako, di ba? When I was going to sign with Bright Light, alam kong wala na ako sa ABS. Pero parang meron pa akong hugot na, um, meron pa akong hugot na, bakit nyo ba ako pinakawalan? Pipirma na ako dito, pero bakit ba ninyo ako pinakawalan? Rated K was one of the most viable, was one of the cheapest to produce, was award-winning and it's the best promo platform for all your artistas and all you know i mean why it doesn't almost make sense and nung magpapaalam na ako sabi ko kay girly rodis girly magpaalam ka ng mabuti kasi pipirma na tayo alam kong wala na tayo sa kanila pero yan ang yan ang original kong pamilya at mga magulang magpaalam ka lang ng maganda na ito na magsasign na po kami sa five and suddenly they said can corina please not sign and it was just in the flurry of things that matters were lost in translation. And we just didn't realize what became of Corina at that time. No? Uh, well that, so that's what they said. And I said, it's a little too late for that because we already negotiated, I already promised, we have a time slot, we're signing tomorrow. And it was Carlo Katigbak who said, who gave me the most important advice of all. And at that time, I was going to be going into a situation that I'd never been in before. Kasi dati, empleyado lang lang naman ako eh. Empleyado lang naman ako, na yun na yun, and coming in as a producer, right? Um, and he said, please tell Corina, please tell Corina to own her show make sure to that before you sign so that's what i did that's what i did quickly we changed the the personality of the program and then had it uh, patented and and albi was so generous and okay na okay so because of that uh the next three years became one of my most lucrative and we were visible in niche markets even quite smaller because gone are the days of 40% ratings. Uh, mataas na ngayon nga ang 15. Hallelujah pag 20. Di ba? Dati 40. Mayroon pang 50. So, with the niche markets and with a really good sales team, we flourished. And with the changing landscape, and because now, creativity is not monopolized it's a uh, uh, free for all so even all my creative ideas from before that I wanted to that I wanted to do we were able to do so kaya merong TikToks merong uh, Korean interviews uh, so that I have three programs all at the same time because I started doing pitches and decks and then a lot of people had no work so I go, okay to. Uh, okay to, kasi it will give. 
it will give sanang CR nila. Sorry, excuse me. Tanggal yun. <laughs> um, so, yun, parang um, it became a venue for me to pitch. Eh, nag green light yung mga pitch. So, why will I not? So, yun. So, na green light. Sabi ko, ang dami mabibigyan ng ano, trabaho. Biro mo three sets of staff. Cameramen, EPs, APs, PAs, writers. And, eh, madali lang naman. My training in ABS-CBN is priceless. Because in ABS-CBN, bihira lang din yung on-cam ka, pero ikaw din ang nag-iilaw, ikaw din ang umuupo sa editing, ikaw din ang nagpipintura ng sarili mong set. Ako yon. E ako din ang EP. So, ako din ang numero. So, my training, oh, nakakaloka, no? All around. Habang nag-gaganyan ako, nag-direct ako dito, yung kamay ko gumagano'n-ganon. So, uh, so, that was priceless. And because of that training, I was able to be a producer of three shows at the same time. Ako rin na lumalabas kay ni Pilipin. So, um, kala ko madali, hindi pala. Nakakapagod lang. Pero the job is actually manageable. And um, now, uh, when Bright Light decided to downsize, I said, okay, who's gonna be my producer now? I can, of course, use my money, but I think it's more secure if I have a partner. Besides, where am I going to air? Right? So, uh, one time there was a wake, and all of us were there. See, Vice, Nandon, Nandun si Tita Cori, Nandun yung mga taga ABS. So, hi, hi, hi. I've always maintained my good relationships with them. Pasko birthday. Andiyo pa yung mga regalo ko sa mga boss ko dati. Nung pandemic, ay nila lahat lumabas. Eh ako, pahara-hara. Sabi ko, oh, namimiss na ba ang pagkain mula sa Taste of LA? Andito ako ngayon. Papadala. Aba, lahat ang order. Sabi ni Cory, eto gusto ko, eto gusto ko. So, pinadala ko sa kanilang lahat. Uh, so, I maintain my relationship with them. Um, so, when they downsized, nakita-kita kami sa... Sabi, sabi ko kay... Vice, Vice, oh, kumusta ka na? Eto, aggressive kami sa paggawa ng content sa ABS. Sabi ko, pwede ba ako mag-pitch? Oo oh, naman, ba't di ka mag-pitch? Ayos, Tita Cory, oh, nahihiya ako eh. Sabi ko, ganda. Sino Vice ang Vice? Si Vice ganda. Oo. Oh, oh. Nahihiya ako, sabi ko ngayon. Ba't ka nahihiya? Sabi ko, alam mo naman, ampliado lang naman ako dati. Ngayon, bigla akong mag-pitch ng ganyan. Ay, nako, akong bahala kakausapin ko si Tita Cory. Man, a few months later, who knew that Bright Light would suddenly say, okay, we're downsizing, and la la la. Bright Light naman gave me time to prepare and look for a producer. And out of the blue, uh, Vice texted me, Corina called me up. I was just with Tita Cory and Carlo. So when we talked, sabi niya, Bru, pumunta ka na doon, hinihintay ka na. Mag-pitch ka na sa kanila. And because of that tip, I made an appointment, and I was so overwhelmed with that one meeting with Carlo and Cory, and said, "Sabi nila, ano ka ba? Dito ka na sa amin. Welcome back home, Corina. Ganon lang. Ganon ganon kabilis. Uh, this was about a month before we started airing last month." I actually started airing already under ABS before the signing because we had to wait for Carlo to come back from Amer from Paris, I think, or America. So was it a difficult decision for you na isip ka pa talaga ng malalim for you before accepting no. it? No, no, no. Ah, accepting? Mm -hmm. No. Well, nahihiya ako kasi mga magulang ko yan. How do you mm -hmm. negotiate, right? Mm -hmm. So kaya nga I asked girly, girly, ikaw na yan. I don't like to talk about mm -hmm money or whatever. So, when we were talking, uh, they were saying, sabi ko, Carlo, do you remember you advised me to own my show? Oh, did I do that? Sabi ko, why do you regret it? <laughs> sabi niya, no, 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 no. You know what it tells me, Corina? Let's be co-producers. So, of course, I have less exposure if I don't co-produce. But it also gives me an edge about content. So that I can also lean in on content. May say din ako sa laman ng programa ko. Yun. Um, so the arrangement is that everything half down the line. Ganon. Everything half down the line. Sales, investment, sales. Ganon. Transparency. It, they were so easy. They were so easy. And... Um, 
sila pang ang nagsabi ako rin na would you like to li- to give suggestions about your press press release ha huh? may ganun pa ba bakit kayo nang gumawa hindi kasi baka yung wordings mo may ganun sila they're very they're very differential and um even the press con Corina we wanted to do a signing and then sabi ko ha huh? signing Tita Cory, alam mo ba na tatlong pun taon ako diyan sa inyo? Never ako nagkaroon ng signing. Never, I never I never required it. Ano signing wala na yan, akin na, napkin na lang whatever, right? Sa kotse papadalhin kontrata sa bahay, ganun na lang. I never really required it kasi parang feeling ko ano <laughs> ano ako diyan eh, organic empleyado kasi from from the very isa ako sa unang-una dyan. Wala pa si Cory, wala pa si Freddy, wala pa si Charo. Iba pa mga boss namin nun. Our newsroom was then only four people. One long table, three typewriters, four chairs. Orokan pa. Ganito lang kaliit. Ito, ang newsroom. Apat lang kami nun. Becky Cabral, David Nye, Vic Lima, at ako. So parang bakit ako magko-contract signing with Bulaklak and all, right? Parang te, wala na 'yan. So now, pagpasok ko ngayon sa ABS-CBN, medyo natatawa ako na nakikiliti ng konti na parang wow, ganito pa lang feeling. Sabi ko, <laughs> merong ganyang contract signing, syempre hinilera ni lahat nila lahat ng lumang tao para at home ako. Sabi ko, oh, kilala ko to, kilala ko to, kilala ko to. Ikaw hindi kita kilala, mukha ka pang fetus, sabi ng ganyan. <laughs> So it was very ano, it was very uh, heartwarming. Siyempre iba na no. Carlo, Mark, 'di ba mga bata na mga pero siyempre of course si Cory hindi nagbabago itsura, nandoon pa rin siya. So that's our arrangement. Kina mm-hmm. 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 mo kung sino si Robert na i-interview kasi kasi ah I was uh, my my uh, my ano uh, my principal from the very beginning from the very beginning day one in ABS. I don't look at competition. I trailblaze. That's my thing. I just do the next thing. I just do the next new thing. Not even thinking na oh eat my dust or kayong sumunod sa akin walang ganun basta ganito lang ako mag-isip etong gagawin natin o itong susunod I don't know what the other guys are doing ko alam 